Hi, my name is Ursula DeHaya. I'm a wildland firefighter. I've been fighting fire for two years. I work for AAA Thunderbolt out of Mount Vernon, Oregon. In 2015, my engine was dispatched to the Canyon Creek Fire Complex. This fire was intense. It was burning down the canyon and it was a firestorm by the time we had arrived there. We were told to go to County Road 15 and position our engine on standby. At this time, we could see the large plume of smoke up over the ridge off of Vance Creek. The fire had burned several homes already and was coming up the other canyon. At that time, we got orders to go to the ranch up at Fawn Springs. This is where there was a few cabins and a big shop that we needed to protect. Once we got to the ranch, we were told that the road that we come in on was compromised, trees had fell over, and we could not exit the way we come in. <clears throat> we quickly looked for a safety zone, and then we positioned our truck at a cabin back against a ridge. The whole ridge was covered with juniper trees and big pumpkin pines. I looked around and I could see that we were ahead of the fire. It was at least one ridge back. We then prepared the cabin where we were at. We took everything off the porch, put far away from it, and then we positioned our truck again at a better place. We unrolled the hard line, got it ready, got everything ready, so when the fire came over the ridge, we were prepared. The air was intense, the smoke was thick, it would get in your eyes, in your mouth, you could hardly breathe. My engine boss told me to get the fallen axe just in case I had to cut the hard line for a quick getaway. Once I did that, I looked up and I could see the trees turning glowing orange and there was a roar, a roar like there was a freight train coming at me. I knew at that time, there's nothing you can do when you're looking up at the devil dancing. This is when I knew that something intensely was about to happen. <clears throat> about that time on my radio, I could hear our task force leader say, T-11, get out of there, the plume just fell towards you. I hollered at my engine boss, and we both quickly took our packs off, threw our tools on the back of the truck, and we exited away from that cabin. We went straight towards where we knew the safety zone was, and at that time, you could hardly see the road. We finally made it to the safety zone where they had burnt out around us in what is called the black. That's where we burn out and park all the trucks in the black so there's nothing to burn. At this time, we were just to monitor the fire. The wind was blowing so hard you could hardly stand up. But the fire jumped us and we could see it going up the ridge. When the smoke cleared, we could see that it left the main cabin. It had not burnt these people's homes. That was an amazing sight to see that in all this devastation that was trying to kill us every time we turned around, it left something of someone's that meant so much to them.